K-I-L-R Killer Games Hello, gamers, trekkers, trekkies, and sci-fi fanatics. I am the Killer Gamer. Welcome. This is Star Trek Online, and we are going to continue our Federation character here, our Benzite. So let's go ahead and jump in. The treacherous Jaula has requested to speak before the High Council on Kronos. A little-used Klingon law has restored her house, temporarily. And as matriarch of her house, she has the right to speak before the Council if she wishes. Whether she leaves the Great Hall alive or in chains remains to be seen. She has much to answer for. As part of the task force assigned to deal with Ja'ula, I have requested your presence during this meeting. Should the Barbarian make a nuisance of herself, I expect you to do what must be done. Okay. Ooh, two times daily event progress. That's useful. Dual nanopulse disruptor pistols. That could be useful, too. Serve the Empire well. All right, the Kittimer Discord. It appears the hunt for Jaula may come to an end soon. Our latest intel indicates she's operating out of four key sectors, including Kitama. I've dispatched operatives to three of those sectors, but I want you to check out Kitama personally. I'm sending General Martok with you. If she's there, I want the Alliance's best to take her down and bring an end to the Civil War. Do your best to take her alive. But if she forces your hand, give her that traitor's death. She deserves. <laughs> Serve the Empire well. Ah! Oh, apparently we got... Okay, we accepted a couple of missions. Alright, what are we doing here? We're turning that off. We're going to go get ourselves killed. That's what we're going to do. I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth's space dock. It may need assistance. Yeah, well... We're not going to worry about you just yet. we got Klingons to deal with. <laughs> Off to Kronos! Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. The Klingons are willing to use any weapon available to destroy the Federation, even time itself. It falls to a small group of brave Starfleet officers to restore the timeline and rescue one of their own. Who controls this sector may determine who controls the war. On the front lines of the Klingon Federation war, brave captains from both sides battle to defend their homes and gain advantages for their faction. Each death has meaning. Every victory can turn the tide. These are the conflicts that will determine the fate of the Quadrant. All right, all new content here. Attendees are still arriving, Lieutenant. Alliance Command would like you to meet with Captain Kagrin of the Kittimer. Before things begin, he has some diplomatic insight to share with you. Acknowledged. Quandak out. I'm a Benzite, in case you don't know. <laughs> yeah, did you know that they, um, 
they've been changing stuff even on the uh like the starter missions they've been changing stuff uh we just got done with one episode uh that they had changed so all right the grand hall of klingon here are you am i supposed to talk nope uh, supposedly, I'm supposed to go over here to this fancy-looking thing. All right, Kagrin, what have you got to say for yourself? Is that a Romulan over there? What are Romulans doing here? Oh, uh, well, things are different. We kind of jumped ahead in the story. This will be a historic day. There will finally be a reckoning for Ta'ula and House Mokai. While I'm surprised that the Chancellor has seen fit to allow Ja'ula to speak, I believe it is only a formality. One way or another, she will face justice today. Ja'ula! Do you think she will surrender without a fight? Ha! She is Klingon. She is coming here for a fight. Trust me, surrender is not her goal. If not surrender, what is her goal? Ja'ula was a skilled politician well before she became the matriarch of her house. I think she hopes to sway other great houses to her cause today. Normally, I would consider this a wasted effort, but... You have concerns? Yes. There are many Klingons who hold Ja'ula's brother Takuma in high esteem. They honor his dreams and his vision, especially where the Federation is concerned. Unfortunately, many Klingons see Ja'ula in the same light, and that concerns me greatly. In case anyone is wondering, Ja'ula House, or all that stuff is like from Star Trek uh, Discovery. Th those are the, like, un-Klingons. <laughs> Real Penthe. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that one. If you want to play like the original Star Trek Online stuff, you've, you've got to like uh, play the one that's like the emulator, which I've got the, uh, I got Star Trek Online. I've got the emulator where you can play the old, old Star Trek Online. I've actually got an episode or yeah, I've, I've got a few episodes over on my YouTube channel to have the original tutorial with Zachary Quinto uh, uh, narrating a Spock. So it's really cool to be able to go back and play those. I see. Recommendations? In addition to the Chancellor himself, I would speak to a few house dignitaries before the event begins. Any insight we can gain on their motivations will be valuable. I would begin with House Martok. They are currently neutral, but that may not last. A word from Martok can change the course for many houses. Yeah, you'll have fun. Um, this account that I'm using is a free account. Uh, so you c this is like a great free online game to get into just for uh for the story and everything um uh, and i love how they tie it in with all the different star treks um i think i think that's awesome how they they tie the story in and stuff there are some stories that are gone or they've been moved or changed which is kind of annoying um but yeah, the purpose of this series that I'm doing is to kind of show everything that you can do without spending absolutely one one dime. You don't have to spend one dime on this game. And there are ways where you can um, make that money in-game to buy certain things. So, Oh yeah, I started off as free-to-play. Um, eventually I started saving up some money and I bought a few things here and there like uh, ships and uh, and stuff but yeah you can save up money in here 
and and buy stuff so yep that is true um, I can run this on my tablet on my Windows uh, tablet I can run it on my Windows tablet I have to turn all the graphics down but I can run it on it who else should I speak with House Duras is as always aligned with Jim Park. They may speak with you on matters the Chancellor will not, however. House Collect was once a staunch ally of House Mokai, and many believe they have renewed that alliance. I would see where they stand if you can. Finally, I would speak with the representative from House Mokai. Well, that is an unusual suggestion. Recall the ancient Klingon proverb. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. A car is an arrogant braggart. He might slip up and reveal valuable information to you. Hmm. Agreed. I will return once I have spoken with those representatives. Never trust the House Duras. Absolutely. I completely agree with that. Oh, looks like I got a few people to spot speak with here. All right, let's speak with the House Mokai. That looks like a new Klingon. Maybe. I don't know. I'm looking at his head. And what do you want, creature? Have you come to gloat? Or do you have enough wisdom in that ugly skull of yours to seek the favor of House Mokai? I would know what you hope to accomplish here today. We seek what every true Klingon seeks in life. Glory for the house, and glory for the Empire. And today, we will find them. You know who that is? Look at his eyes. That's the actor who plays Gowron. How do you see that happening? Soon, Jaula will arrive. She knows the truth of things. Soon. She will speak truth to power, to say what must be said, and her voice will be heard throughout the Empire. When she is done, all true Klingon warriors will know the truth, and do what must be done. Soon there will be justice, at last. You always know Gowron because of those eyes. <laughs> he, he opens those eyes like really big. But for whom? <laughs> we shall find out soon enough. Now be gone. I grow weary of the sound of your voice. Well, I grew weary of yours. <laughs> Robert O'Reilly. Yes, that is him. <laughs> Tread lightly, Akar. Akar, whatever you are. You are not among allies here. Don't give me that look. <laughs> ah, here's another one. Speak with House Duras. Oh yeah, this should go well. Come on. I take it you're here to see where my house stands on the Chaula problem. Indeed. Chaula is a product of a dead age, chasing the dreams of her martyred brother, seeking the glory of a war long ended. She is a threat to the prosperity of the Empire, and will be dealt with as such. And she's still alive? That's my question. The Chancellor has said similar things on the matter. Yes. Well, I do not agree with the Chancellor on all things. He has the best solution for this problem, and he will have the support of my house. If there's nothing else, there are other matters that require my attention. Well, thank you for your time, Captain. Yes, Martok was awesome. Deep Space Nine is my favorite Star Trek of them all. There, so much Star Trek lore was uh, expanded upon on Deep Space Nine, and you got to see, you got to see so many different viewpoints instead of just the Federation. You got to see the viewpoints of the Ferengi and the Cardassians and the Klingons. It was 
Oh, such an awesome show. And when it comes to captains, come on, man. Captain Cisco's a badass. <laughs> I always thought about this Captain Cisco versus Kirk. But the thing is, is Captain Cisco really respects Kirk. He, uh, it's like it's one of his idols or something like that. <laughs> so. Now you get Kirk and Cisco fighting together. Matt. That's it. All bets are off. I don't care if it's the Borg. <laughs> the two of them will take him out. <clears throat> Speak with Jim Pock. Come on. Thank you for attending this summit. If we are lucky, it will end quickly and without bloodshed. And if we're unlucky? I will deal with the Mokai traitor and her misbegotten how swiftly and with finality if there is any part of them that remains Klingon they will meet their ending with honor as warriors and if not if not they will spend the rest of their days in the frozen depths of the penal colony at Rura Pente. at least there they will provide some service to the Empire I think many would choose death over such a fate We'll find out soon enough. The Barbarian is due to arrive shortly. Be wary. The woman is treacherous. She may try any number of things to avoid her unpleasant fate. Good advice. Thank you for your time, Chancellor. I am going to turn down the volume of that music. Because <laughs> I can barely hear them talking. We'll just... See, I already have it down low. Look at that. Alright, let's bring it down to 10%. All right, who, who do we got over here? Martok, there he is! You come to the Great Hall at a time of conflict within the Empire. I hope you're prepared for anything. Klingon diplomacy can be quite combative at times. And yes, that is the original actor. I'll be ready, General. That is wise. Two things are clear to me today. Jim Park is running out of allies and the Mokai have more friends than he knows about. If it comes to blows, be on your guard. Someone might decide it's time to put their knife in your heart. Where do you stand on the matter, General? I will do what is right for my family, for my house, and for the Empire. The Chancellor and I do not agree on many things, but I would not see all I have fought for destroyed by the Mokai upstart. For now, Jampak has my support. Understood. Thank you, General. Meanwhile, let's talk to Warruth. Almost sounds like a Warrus. <laughs> I am the Warrus. <laughs> I am the Eggman. <laughs> Not you. You. Yes. You. Come over here. Warroth, son of Waldon, has a warrior's thirst. Are you here to bring me more blood wine? <laughs> Waldo! No, seems like you've had enough. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, Globfly. I could drink Kalos himself under the table if I wanted to. What do you want, then, if not to refill my flagon? To push you over. Your thoughts on today's summit? My first thought is that it's a fine excuse to drink. My second thought is <laughs> that I need more to drink. There they are. All my thoughts on this so-called summit. I think this is voiced by the critical drinker on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Just a thought. I'll leave you to it then. Kapla! Who else do we have to talk to? There's someone else. Oh, there you are. House Kalak. Look, nah. speak quick. Oh. Bless you. I would speak with you about the upcoming meeting. What of it? Oh, Jim Pop would buff up his chest and make a lot of loud, irritating noises before he tries to put Jaula to the blade. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't sound forced. Something amusing you? Besides that 
foolish look on your face? Yes, something amuses me greatly. Stick around, and you will learn what it is soon enough. You, Jempak, and all the other ligament chewers have filled the hall with noise and flatulence. This is tiresome. Go bother someone else, assassin of joy. Ah, you smell of flatulence. <laughs> because we all know Klingons love bathing, right? As you wish. What is this, the Princess Bride? <laughs> Time draws near. Return to my position. We will watch the proceedings from here. Acknowledged on my way. Boy, you Klingons are full of talk. Alright, where, where am I going? Go to the observation area. We're observing. Jahuna, she's here. It's the butt face ain't Klingons. <laughs> the council recognizes the leader of House Mokai. Speak. Klingons, warriors of the great houses. In the name of Kalis and of Takuvma, hear me now! You know my name. You know my house and what it has done for the Empire. And today, I come before you with the truth. The Chancellor of this great Empire is a coward and a liar. He stole his title. He claimed it after winning a duel to the death with Marta. And yet Marta, the true Chancellor, still lives. But Jim Park's dishonor doesn't end there. When the Herc returned, he hid from our greatest enemy like a craven Fakiri. Once my brother led the Empire to glory, we had the Federation on their knees. And now... Now we build ships with them. These stains on our honor must be cleansed. Let us bring an end to Jim Park's reign. You dare to speak of honor here? You, a known traitor to the Empire? The only thing ending today is you, woman. I think not. Petak, death to Jempak! Kapla! I'm not sure if that's the original voice. Uh oh. They got the uh, the lightsaber uh, blades. I have one of those. I have one of those on my um, on my main character. No more Star Trek Discovery Klingons. Get rid of them. Get rid of all of them. <laughs> Well, that was close. This battle is all but won. Fight on for the Empire! Alright, time to do some cleaning up here. Come here. There are things we need to discuss. Ooh, bullion souffle. Anybody have a recipe for bullion souffle? And some yamak sauce. Here. 
There are things we need to discuss. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, let me do a flip first. <laughs> so much for diplomacy. I had a feeling that Jaula would attack. I admit surprise at the number of allies he had at his side, however. What now? Jim Park will demand swift retribution on Jaula and any house that stood with her today. I suspect my days of neutrality will be coming to an end soon. Understood. Honor to you and your house, General Kapla. Lieutenant, we're receiving a message from Alliance Command. You gotta love how there's a lieutenant here dealing with all this. There's been an attack in the Charon system. We've been ordered to investigate and render assistance to Allied forces there. Transporter room is standing by awaiting your command. And eh, not now. We're, ju we're just gonna hang out and drink some blood wine. Alright, we'll beam out. <laughs> okay we'll go ahead and stop right here i want to thank you all for watching uh if you enjoyed this episode please consider clicking that like button helps me out and helps the channel out helps this series out and if you're new here go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that way you are notified of future sci-fi fantasy content uh, that comes up as well as other content throughout the week. We have a different different theme coming out uh, every day. So every day is a different theme here on Killer TV. And then streaming over on Twitch is a thing. Um, I've been doing this on Twitch. And so if you'd like to join me, follow me over on Twitch, you get to be a part of the show. Would love to have you. Love having the conversation. Love it that, that, that you're joining me on these gaming sessions. I love having you there. So please consider heading over there and, and giving me a follow. And then there is Instagram. I take pictures and photos of projects that I'm working on uh, behind the scenes. And then Twitter. I use for all those uh, official news and announcements, and retweets of things that I think you might find interesting. Snapchat, just for weird, silly fun. And Patreon for those of you who would like to step it up a notch and uh, support what it is uh, that I do. Um, I greatly appreciate anything you're willing to donate. And in return, you get bonuses and rewards as a result. So please go check out my Patreon account and see what interests you. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next episode of our s space trek <laughs> in the stars. Have a killer awesome day.